What's up everybody? So we're back on the shop and in this episode we are going to be making the leather sheath for the awesome 5160 Kukri that we did that has the exposed copper layer in front of the scales there. So this wonderful beauty. We are going to be making a leather sheath for this one now. There's going to be a whole lot of firsts in this particular build because I really have to think through the way that I would have to make this particular sheath and I'm going to show y'all what I did to make it happen and you know hopefully it helps somebody make one of these in the future guys let's go ahead let's jump into it and get this thing knocked out so i did end up making two different templates for the style of sheath that i wanted to do and I'll, I'll tell you this right now this is nowhere near enough template material to make a sheath i should have done the front back sides flaps everything before i started cutting any leather but i did not do that kicking myself for that but this one of course was not going to work because this area was too narrow for the broader part of the blade to come through so I ended up making this one so that as you put the the knife into it it can kind of come in and go in there and then tuck right to there so we went with this one and then I started cutting leather like kind of an idiot I should have, like I said, made plenty of other template pieces to kind of lay everything together before I went a little too gung-ho and started chopping up good leather. Now the first sheath that I came up with looked like this. So it was just this piece right here, the knife was going to go in, but the downside to that is there is no retention right here. So the knife was just going to slide in and then could easily fall out or do whatever and needed a strap. So then I made a strap for it. And then I thought, okay, where am I going to end up putting a thing to be able to put this on my belt? So then I had to scrap the other side of it and I came up with this. And the, the strap is going to end up folding on the inside. I am going to shave some of this stuff back right here so it lays down a little bit flatter but what we're going to end up with is something that looks more like this right here of course that's once everything's all put together now one of the things that i need to do at this point now that i have everything set up is i need to go ahead and get this piece that's right here i need to get it shave down, figure out exactly how I want it to be laid out, and then I've got to go ahead and glue and stitch this area down right there. So that that part, the belt loop itself, is out of the way. And then once we get that done, we're going to come in, rough up the welt here, this, this little spacer. We're going to rough up this side because it's still smooth, this side's a little rough. We'll rough that up, that's going to get glued into place right here. Let it do its thing. And then the last part that we're going to end up doing is, of course, gluing in this piece onto here. Now, before we do that, I'm going to end up putting this little tab right here in the area that I'm going to be stitching. So it's going to be in this area where that little spacer is going to be so that this back piece right here doesn't have any chance of actually scratching the knife so it's going to be down in this little area if you can see there's a line right here that's where that that spacer is it's going to be down in that little area right there and glued in tightened in all that jazz but like i said so that it's kind of out of the way and then what ends up happening with this is on the latch, this little guy right here, the little piece that comes over, I'm going to do something similar to this right here. And basically, it just clicks onto this little guy, and then you just pop it off and move it over. So that's the goal. We're going to start getting everything kind of put together. And first things first, like I said, we need to get this belt loop situated right here and then go from there 
So we're going to go ahead and shave down the leather. And the reason behind this is I want it to lay down pretty flat, especially because I have it folded onto the inside of the sheath. This is just a personal preference, the way that I wanted it to look. So that's why I did this. Now we get it folded really flat. It looks really good. So basically what I want to do from here is start using our barge all-purpose cement. This is just an adhesive that a lot of people use in leather working. We're going to go ahead, put just a dab on there, spread it out. Now I did mark where I want the adhesive to be so that I didn't have a bunch of adhesive all over the place. This is not something that you would want to wing. Make sure you mark it so you know exactly where it's supposed to go. We're going to spread it out so that it's nice and even and then we're going to go ahead and do it on the other side. You want to put this on both sides that are going to be touching so that it gets a better bond. But we're going to put it on there, spread it out evenly again, and then we're going to let it dry for a little bit. Now the directions for these adhesives are on the actual adhesives themselves. Follow the directions. Make sure you do it the right way. So we're going to put it onto each other, and then I'm just going to tap it down with this little hammer right here. We're tapping lightly. We're not going after it. And this is just going to make sure that that adhesive has a better chance of bond. We're going to put some clips on it and then we're going to let it dry for a little bit and cure. And now when it comes to the strap, we need to go ahead and rough up the area that the strap is going to sit on. and. This is just to make sure we have a really good bond with the adhesive. Then same thing, we spread the adhesive out on both. And then we want to go ahead and let it rest again, just like we did before. And then we go ahead, put it on here, and then tap it down. Once that's done, I went ahead and used the actual tool to mark out where I want the holes to be. Now it's time to just hammer those in. Now these holes are going to do work for two different things. They actually hold this leather strap on there and they also stitch in the belt loop. So the belt loop is actually on the other side of this where it folds down so this stitching goes through both things and keeps everything together. Now we need to go ahead and rough up the spacer on the, the smooth side so that it is rough on both sides. That way we get a better bond with the adhesive. And now we do the same process we did before. We spread it out nice and evenly. I did mark where that spacer goes so that I knew not to put, you know, just adhesive all over the place. Remember, you want to color inside the lines to make sure that everything is nice and clean looking and we want to spread this adhesive out nice and evenly so you don't have a bunch of big globs all over the place and once we get it spread out we want to let it set a little bit before we put it together be careful whenever you're aligning these you want to make sure you get this right the first time because this is not super forgiving and you don't want this to really shift. And now we're ready to put our little latch tab on here. And you can see right now I have it in that little area where the spacer is. 
I did recess a little divot into the spacer to make sure that everything is set flush. But we're going to go ahead and tighten this down and then make sure everything looks good. And it really does. I'm very happy with how this part turned out. And I'm happy I decided to go this direction with it. So we put the glue on there, we spread it out, do the same exact process, make sure that it's nice and clean, nice and even, no big globs, and then we'll go ahead, do it to the other side, and then let them sit. Make sure it's nice and even and tap it down. Now it's time to go ahead and just dye the rest of the leather. I did go ahead and dye the leather before I glued that outside piece on. That way the inside of the sheath was fully dyed. Now you just want to make sure coat everything and then once you get everything coated wipe it down you know that way you can actually wipe off any excess that's just kind of globbed up on there so one of the big things for this is to make sure that you let your glue dry all the glue that's on the the layers and all that stuff you want to let that dry before you start putting this dye on here you know it's going to make everything wet again and it will actually mess with the bond of your glue Now we need to cut in the little groove where the stitching is going to go. Now whenever I initially set out to do the stitching, I was going to do uh, some start and stop sections with the stitching. And once I started getting into it, I kind of decided against that. So I went ahead and pulled that groove all the way back to where the little latch is. And I decided to go ahead and stitch the whole entire thing. Once we have that done, we need to go ahead and start hammering in all the stitch holes. Now whenever it comes to stitching sheaths, there are a lot of videos out there that will show you this process in more depth than what I'm doing. What I'm doing here is I'm just putting one side through, pulling it almost all the way in, and then leaving a little bit of an excess loop. And then whenever I pull the needle from the other side through, I wrap the thread around the needle, and this just gives you a nice tight stitch whenever you pull it through kind of locks it into place like I said there are plenty of videos out there that will show you how to do this in detail right here what I'm doing is I am actually wrapping the stitch around the outside and I'm just putting in a little pattern it just looks kind of like an hourglass in the actual stitching right here so where it wraps around the the leather the spacer and everything on the outside I was gonna do this on a, all of the start and stop places but I decided against that and I'm just putting it right here as a little design detail
once we get that part done, we want to go ahead and feed the, the thread through the holes to a point to where they come out in the right way so that we can go ahead and tie off the little knot so that we can finish out the stitching. And I'm going to be doing a double knot on this and then we're going to cut it and then I'm going to use a lighter to go ahead and finish the stitch off and make sure that it's nice and tucked down. So now it's time to go ahead and buff it. Now one of the things that I did do off camera was get everything smoothed down on the edges and I just used one of my wooden dowels to do all of that and once we got that finished we just went ahead buffed it to put a nice finish on the whole entire sheath. Alright guys let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Now I am super pleased with this sheath. I mean it works just way better than I could have imagined. That blade fits right into there. Really like how that fits and it actually has a decent amount of retention just like it is. I'm really surprised by that. I didn't think it was going to. I probably could have made it even without the, uh, the strap but I do like the strap as a little added you know keeping her in there nice and tight so that's how that turned out and I think that it is just a good overall sheath I mean when you think about the fact that I've only made a couple of these and not like this this is the first time doing a belt loop this is the first time doing one of these straps like this and then of course doing it to where I have exposed area like that. Like this is definitely the first in a lot of ways of making a sheath like this and I'm very happy that it was successful and that I was lucky enough to uh, make the right decisions <laughs> in the process but very happy with this. I really like how even the stitching is because that's one of the things that I've struggled with as I started making these was keeping everything nice even and tight so I am very 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 pleased with this I will enjoy carrying this and then who knows I might end up putting this one up for sale on my website theriversexperience.com we'll see how that goes because I know that I am making a more a little bit simplistic version of this for myself to be able to use and uh, we'll see how it goes but guys that is it that is the build really really happy with how this overall package turned out <sighs> couldn't be any happier y'all let me know what y'all thought about this process and you know if you have advice leave in the comment section down below guys if you would give the video a thumbs up you know subscribe to the channel if you like the content y'all have an amazing day y'all stay safe out there and i will catch y'all next time